everybody. Welcome back to the Fire It Up with CJ show. We are now on part four. I think it's just four, four. And we've been talking to Chris Holmes. We've been talking a lot um, to Chris Holmes about this book, Ignite Your Career Strategies and Tactics, Unleash Your Potential. And I'm, I'm actually so thrilled to share all this content because this, these are the types of things that people just don't know and things are changing so rapidly. They don't, people don't understand. So let's talk about how to prepare for interviews. Um, now there's a whole bunch of stuff online about, you know, Glassdoor and what to expect and how much, what, what kinds of prep should you do before the interview to learn about the company, learn about the position, and then how do you prepare to just do an eloquent job um, of handling almost any question that comes in so that you're not over-preparing but also not under-preparing? Right. Uh, very fair question. So my lar- my longest chapter in the book is on interview prep. Um, I think it's really important. I mean, not doing interview prep is kind of like going to Harvard and leaving before the last class <laughs> before you graduate. I mean, seriously, it, you've worked that hard to get there. Right. And if you don't do a prep, shame on you. Yeah. So the first thing I think about interview prep is you have to know yourself inside and out. Mm. Um, And what I have my candidates do is uh, think about their experiences and their strengths and their achievements. And CJ, I have them write them all out in the star format, Mm -hmm. situation, thinking, action, result. Mm -hmm. Because if, if you say to me, I'm take initiative. I'm a leader and I'm great with people. If somebody asked me 10 minutes later what you said, I will not remember it all. Right. But if you tell me three stories that demonstrate those, Mm. I will remember them forever. And Mm. so the key is to succinctly tell stories that demonstrate your, you know, how that strength allowed you to achieve a goal. And so you want to write out these index cards for each of the strengths, for each of your achievements. You want to walk them through and you want to do as many as you can. Mm. Before the interview, you have to practice them. And then you also want to do the same thing with your weaknesses. You want to think about your weaknesses ahead of time. You want to think, you know, if you have gaps on your resume, like any watch outs on your resume, you should have the answer written out ahead of time. You should know how you want to answer it so that it's not a surprise. Mm. Okay. And especially today with Zoom interviews, I mean, not that you're going to read from your index cards, but you can have them in front of you mm. if need be. Mm. So um, uh, one of the things, so my son is actually interviewing for a position at Amazon and they're very like your son, they're very, they're very into the leadership principle. So he's writing down and he, he was very strategic. He said, listen, I'm actually just going to have five stories that I can kind of like tell like that. And that map to several of these leadership principles. Cause I cannot like create like, you know, one card for like every single principle. So yeah. is there, you know, and, and this is what I tell my clients too. I'm like, just take five really good stories and you can kind of do your little, PR switch when they talk about a weakness like you know have one card that at least talks about one weakness the, it's very unlikely they're going to say now how about your second weakness like if you have one card that talks about your weakness that's fine you can answer that for tell me about a time you fail tell me about a challenge it's like the same same narrative regardless because you can't keep on remembering and being able to tell these stories gracefully um and I, I don't know, do you, do you have a strategy aside? I, I got the star, the idea yeah. of, you know, the star, but are there, you know, there's so many, I don't want to have to have 20 cards all on my desk. Um, how do you, how do you, how do you get strategic about it so you can just remember a couple stories and tell those over and over again? Well, if you've done your homework and you practice them out loud, mm-hmm. you're going to have, them. and they're your stories, you own them anyway. But I think, you know, the other part about interviewing is you have to do your homework on the company. Right. Because if you don't, you're not interested in them. Right. And we've had way too many clients say not moving forward because they didn't know anything about Mm. us. So you're trying to demonstrate your interest. You want to do your homework so you can ask really perceptive questions. And you want to determine, is this someplace that I'm excited about being? So it's kind of threefold. 
And what but homework would you want to do? Like, what's the, I don't have that much time, you know, basically with tech companies or maybe like 30 companies that you're interviewing, you can't do 30, you know, right. how, what kind of, what's the base level research that you need to know? Well, I would certainly go to their website mm -hmm. and, and do a deep dive on their website. So you understand kind of what their products are, how they operate. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if they are publicly traded, I might go look at their latest report and just do a quick read because oftentimes their CEO is just kind of talked about the future. Right, the annual report, the yeah. Yeah, and that's a really good thing. Okay. Um, I might uh, look online to see what people are saying, saying about the culture or I might network and see do I know anybody who works there and what do they say about the company. Got it. So that's a homework. Um, and, and then when, when you have this, I've been interviewing for so many, tell me, so Chris, tell me a little bit about why you're interested in this company and, and, yeah. and what, what's the ideal answer from your perspective when, when clients are answering that? Um, you know, it, it has to be, first of all, sincere. People can tell it when they're, when you're BSing. Right. So that's where your homework's important. You know, I, I have a client right now where people are saying, I'm really interested because where you are in your life cycle. You know, I think you have an amazing product. I think that um, your marketing uh, is functional right now, but there's so much opportunity and that I could leverage my experience to really help you take get to the next level. I'm really excited about your leadership because I've seen what you've done at other companies. And what I've heard about the culture that you create, it's the type of place I want to go to. And I loved doing this exact thing at the last three companies I was at. Got it. Okay, got it. So there's many different dimensions that you mentioned. And right. let's say that you don't like the culture, but you like the position, you know, you want to do that. And ideally, you like the culture, but for whatever right. reason, you're a top candidate, you need the job, whatever. It's basically looking at, at any of those dimensions that you mentioned and trying right. to sincerely talk about whether you love the products, you love the potential, you love the culture, you love what you read in the annual report, something that is yeah. credible. Right. That's yeah. all they're looking for. Yeah. Uh, and they, they want to know that you're sincerely interested. Yeah. Any yeah. other tips? So write out your star cards, practice, um, do your homework. Any other tips for interviewing? Yeah. What I always tell people is when the client is done interviewing you and says, do you have any questions for me? A great thing to do is to say, I do. But before I ask my questions, I want to make sure you're sold on me. So if there's any gray area or thing I didn't answer well, I'd rather focus on that. Perfect. Just stop. Yeah, got it. And then they, they'll either say, no, I'm good, or they will say, well, we didn't get a chance to talk about boom. Right. Got it. Interesting. So I really like that. Okay, I really like that, too. I also ask people to, like, come up with two or three questions. Like, just ask something like, you know, what is your strategic, di you know, what is your mission, or what oh. have you liked about this organization? Because otherwise, like... I feel like if they don't come up with any questions, when I was did interviewing, I'm like, you just, are you just phoning it in? Don't you really have questions oh. for me? Yeah. So I, I think, but I like, I like, I actually like what you did with that too. Um, well, and I will say CJ also that I tell people that you do have to ask questions and you ask questions that make them think you're smart, you're strategic, and you've done your homework. There's a group of questions that I, that's called, that I call with them, what's in it for me, <laughs> that you do not ask until you get an offer. Right. But when you get an offer, you can pull out those questions and ask all of them. But at this point, questions are still selling. Yes, exactly. It's not like, so, ha, I, I'm just wondering, when am I going to get paid? Or right, could I work part-time? <laughs> I have yeah. a two-week vacation. Can I take it? You know, like yeah, those kinds exactly. of things. Don't talk about those at this point. Wait until you get the offer, then ask those kind of questions. Yes. Um, any other thoughts on interview prep? I love all these ideas. So great. You know, I think the other thing is today with Zoom, make sure your computer's at the right height. Go get your ring yeah, light. Right. Yes. <laughs> I, I had one candidate who I was doing coaching with, and he and I were doing a mock interview, and I was like, oh, dude, okay, wait a second. Is this?" And he had done like 40 interviews, and I got oh, I'm like, is this where you're doing your interviews? And I, he said, yeah, and I'm like, okay, 
couple thoughts. One, I'm looking up your nose. Two, there's a light over your head that is blinding me. I'm like, okay, take me for a walk. And so we went for a walk in his house, and we ended up putting him in a closet. And we got a lamp to put in front of him. And we got the computer at the right level. And it transformed him. And then we did interview prep. And he got his next two interviews. He got two jobs. But, I mean, I don't, I mean... It, so practice, practice, practice. Do a mock interview all the time and make sure you're representing yourself. Well. Oh, uh, uh, what a modern age, current scenario. <laughs> I love it. You have the wisdom of someone 200 years old. Okay. <laughs> We've been talking to Chris Holmes about her book, Ignite Your Career, Strategies and Tactics to Unleak Your Potential. Thank you. So much. What wonderful advice. Thank you. Thank you for your wisdom. Appreciate it.